Top of the morning, y'all. You see what kind of work I got cut out for me later today? Mud grips. That's right. We got to put those babies on there. Um, <laughs> just things that get a redneck fired up, I guess. I feel like we have found um, an interesting situation with RFK Jr. And that's something that needs to be talked about today. You know, he's either going to make uh, the perfect Republican candidate uh, as far as a vice president in 2024, or he's going to be the perfect Trojan horse guaranteeing that the next four years feels like a prostate exam given by Andre the Giant size fingers. Wowzers, right? <laughs> Will he run for an independent? We don't know. It kind of reminds me of like eating spicy jambalaya. Is this going to be a good moment or is tomorrow morning going to be the most painful morning of my life? We don't know. We got to wait and find out. But RFK Jr., you know, why do I want to have a beer with this guy? I mean, he's a Kennedy Democrat. It don't make sense, but he also speaks mostly with traditional uh, beliefs. And when you hear him talk, it's almost like you're talking to a closet conservative. Do y'all get that impression? You know, if modern day Democrats hate RFK Jr. so much, then he must be a good guy. Woody Harrelson puts on an RFK hat last week and Hollywood liberals go absolutely crazy. You know, you know they still don't understand that when they bash somebody, it's a badge of honor. Nobody thinks that Hollywoods are just in tune with everything in today's society. <laughs> They're just one of us. Hell no. You know, tons of people have already said that RFK Jr. runs as a Republican on the ticket as a VP. Slam dunk. Call it over. I mean, it's, it's completely over. Will he do it? We don't know. But I would love to hear what y'all think about that in the comment section because he's a real interesting guy. So I did, I want to go over who RFK is and just a short video here because by the end of this video, you're going to understand, you're going to be able to talk about him with confidence at the fishing hole, at the job site, at the urinal, taking a leak. Okay, so here we go. He's an environmental lawyer, politician, writer. All right, those are the three biggest things that he's known for. And anytime his name is brought up mainstream wise, they talk about him like they're talking about their crazy uncle. Oh, well, that's just Uncle Robert. He says crazy, unfounded crap that nobody can ever back up. He's just a conspiracy theorist. Well, you know the thing about conspiracy theories, right? Well, the difference between conspiracy theories and the truth is about four to six months. <laughs> he also believes that there's a strong chance the CIA took out JFK and RFK. And that is when you say stuff like that, you get removed from every single news outlet, every single conversation, all of social media, because we all know the government is pure and blameless and wakes up every morning going, how can I help the American people? How can I help them? <laughs> so let's do a line by line on Uncle Robert here, all right? Because as y'all know, I'm a conservative, but I'm not an establishment guy. I'm not going to be thrown in with the same pool as Mitt Romney. Hell, if he's in that pool, I'm finding a whole different hotel to swim in. You know what I'm saying? So number one, RFK, he is against socialism. Check. Like it. We agree. Uh, he wants to focus on small and medium businesses, and he wants to uh, take away the funding that continues the too-big-to-fail monopoly businesses that are always going to be, you know, successful no matter what the hell they do. Check. I'm with that as well. Now, he's in form of some form of student loan forgiveness. I'm sorry. I'm out. At that point, look, the only way I could agree and understand if, which, where he's going with that is if you're talking about the interest rates. The interest rates are insane. Once you start racking them up over a few years, you ain't got no chance in hell at repaying them. I understand that. But we, you know, you took out the debt, you're going to pay for it. That's the way I stand. I feel like that's the way uh, most of y'all are as well. Number four, which should be number one, right? He says he's a Second Amendment guy, but then you get to antidepressants and he says, I don't think you should be having guns if you're on antidepressants. This is where him and I disagree. Got some buddies with PTSD that came back from war. They've been on antidepressants for a short time. I would trust them a million light years before any damn liberal. And that's a fact. I feel like y'all feel the same exact way. If Kennedy loses, which the Democrat primary, because it's pretty much rigged, we all know he's not going to win the Democrat uh, primary. I feel like he would make an incredible running mate for the Republican ticket, whoever that's going to be. And I'm still not convinced that Biden is even running. There's a lot of talk about Big Mike in his size 14 high heels <laughs> taking over after Joe Biden leaves. We don't know. And I'm not necessarily endorsing RFK Jr., okay? But there's a lot of things about the guy that I respect. There's a lot of things I feel like y'all respect as well if you've looked into him at all. But we could do a lot worse. We are currently doing a lot worse. The pendulum is swinging, and it's swinging back hard to the right. And I feel like at this point we need CPR. The bottom line is... Uh, we need more Bill Mars in this world and RFK Jr.'s on the left side because it exposes how crazy all the radicals have gone. Like, this is who y'all used to be. We sit and have a beer with y'all. It's fine. 
but all these loonies over here, it shows the difference. And that is a needed thing in our society today. This could be the perfect Trojan horse chess play. We don't know. So keep your head on a swivel, okay? Like you're gassing up in Chicago after dark. By the way, I heard that uh, one of my highest analytic cities in the USA is Chicago. So shout out to y'all. Y'all there? There you are. <laughs> y'all be good.